The target is the Trezor Cold Wallet. And uh, the sub cues here on this session were that the remote viewers to view Trezor from now through to 25, through 25, and describe how the technology is evolving and how it's being used. It took me 18 pages to finally say it was a wallet. <laughs> so here we go. Decentralized is really centralized with an overriding AI component that monitors all blockchains. I had some initial uh, impressions here with the ideograms that actually felt like, you know, with words like skyrocket in good times that um, very soon they were going to go through some uh, some good some good moves. Uh, so I had lots of positivity, good vibes. Um, people were happy and laughing. Um, and the feeling of accomplishment, and you know, by the ideograms here, it felt like it was, you know, it was going to be very soon, very bouncy, positive energy. Um, uh, we were looking at something into the future, um, and if yeah, it felt like it was paired, which was interesting. I don't know what that means here, um, but I kept seeing these kind of up spikes and and green arrows, so it felt like you know they're going to have a a huge activity spike uh, in two thousand and twenty four. My first ideogram here is like. Uh, some kind of financial institution, high level, um, a sense of financial trouble or regulation, like a mishap or a mistake, something along those lines. It's, it's like someone gets caught red-handed or, or gets put on the spot. Uh, somebody saying we have a have a a lot of work to do before, and then and then I just uh, it cut out and I was like, well. For what? To resolve what? Some regulatory, legal governance concerns, security of the platform or apps, maybe. Um, and and so I did a little bit extra probing, and they ID'd a problem nobody else is aware of. If the team can resolve it, uh, this may be a new cornerstone in the state of the technology, whatever that might be. A wallet, exchange, debit card, staking app, all combined. Some new institutional launch. What does this have to do with trade, I wondered. International trade routes, trade platforms, payment systems, shipping and carbon payments. Well, how does this relate to the target, though, I wonder. The delivery of goods and services under a global network. Going far, this kind of imagery here. Talked about at a global meeting. So I had this kind of visual here of a high level meeting or negotiation very corporate business like or an official and it felt like it was like talking about you know very serious global decisions almost bank like here and this they're going to have a positive outcome to this and it feels like it's going to be uh, very soon in the future um so it feels like uh, we're at the end of 2023 now so it's probably next year they're going to have a big they're going to talk about a big major partnership with a bank or somewhere like coinbase I saw a very dapper guy with like a gray comb over and glasses, filthy rich, like a commissioner associated with a financial institution or oversight. And the sense is like this guy holds all the cards or, or controls the game. Like you don't want to mess with this guy. He's a market mover. He's a big fish. He's got deep, heavy pockets. He's got a first mover advantage. He's an executive of, of some sort. It's all about turning on a switch, which will in turn, uh, literally turning on a physical switch, which will turn on computers and servers. And I saw racks of them in aisles in a large warehouse. And it was a data center that's on standby. And this is a ma massive network server farm, um, almost like a supercomputer. Green revolution, like the tokenization of carbon credits and this type of thing a new or different kind of economy being presented to a group of people. It's like the Greek machine. Closely guarded secret. It's here. It seems alive, self-aware. The avatar displayed on a monitor. Is this AI, I wonder? Is, is it conscious? Predicts solutions for all scenarios. Um, hasn't been beat yet. Gaining more control. Mastery of game theory understands that it has no physical presence, which is an underlining assumption that there might be consciousness involved here, will control the space, will use the Internet of Things and smart device data. And this one was kind of scary, or I guess, you know, I guess depending on how you interpret it, but 
I see um, a bunch of computer terminals, people working. And it feels like a, a data analysis place or like a marketing firm, somewhere where they're crunching calculations, almost like actuaries, um, data analytics, tracking, market movements, market sentiment, almost like a watchdog operation. And the sense here is like, they know what's going to happen next. It's all in the numbers. And I wrote like, there's big government, there's big pharma, but this is like big data. Like they see it all. 